Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of regular expression. In this video, we are going to study some real example. So it will be more helpful you to understand why regular expressions are used or how to write a regular expression for real examples. Now, these are some questions that we are going to solve now. So let us write a regular expression that will find a match for any string. Okay. What we want to know, we want to find a regular expression that will find a match to any string. Okay, so any string means what? Can you guess it? Any string means what? Any string means it can match with any character and as well as any number of character. So any character is represented by what? Dot. Hmm? And that any character can appear one or more time. Okay, so for that I have to use plus quantifier. So if I write here I wrote regular expression that match with any string. Thank you. Okay. So if you are observing here it match with question it match with exclamation mark it match with dot also and if i remove this plus sign then also there will be match hmm? but as you can see here when i remove the mat when i remove the quantifier plus it is matching with individual character i want to match your entire string for that i will place plus so it will match an entire string okay so to match any string what you have to do dot which represents any character and that character can appear what that character can appear any number of times hmm? now let us see the next question what is the next question regular expression to find a match for pin code so here pin code is having a digits okay at least in india pin code is having digits and there are six digits exactly there are six digits so the regular expression for this will be digits are specified by character classes there can be any digit from 0 to 9 so I'll define a character class for this 0 to 9 okay since these are serial characters I will mention the hyphen sign between 0 0 and 9 so it, it will interpret 0 to 9 and this character should appear exactly 6 number of times this character should appear exactly six number of times or this digit should appear exactly six number of times. So if I say four one one zero one four, there will be match. If I say four one one zero nine, there will be no match. If I say two three four five six seven eight, if I specified more than six character, then it is considering only six character. Okay. Hmm? Now suppose if you want to find exactly six character you do not want to consider consider this expression in that case it should not match with this last last text okay it should match with exactly six number of digits in that case you can put anchor sign here so it should exactly starts with number and exactly ends with six digit of number okay now there is no match why let me tell you here my string starts with this one and ends with this hmm? so exactly totally there are no six digits hmm? when i delete this text now there will be match okay now there will be match because there are exactly six digits it is starting with digit and ending with a digit if i put something like this pin code is then also there will be no match because now my string starts with what p and what i specified it should starts with digit it should starts with what digit so it is according to your convenience you can omit the anchors also so according to the requirement you can specify your regular expression now let us see the next example 
now we want to write a regular expression that will match with a mobile number now this is quite easy right so mobile numbers are what 10 digit long so exactly you have to specify 10 here and your regular expression pattern will be what a digit if you want to include country code also in that case it has extra digit so it will match with any mobile number that has only 10 digits or that has 12 digits okay so minimum there should be a 10 digit and maximum there should be a 12 digits suppose i say country code 91 and here i am typing the imaginary mobile number okay so it is matching with this if i specified extra character it is highlighting just a 10 digits only now let us see the next question what is the next question a regular expression to find a first name which starts with a capital letter okay whenever we fill any form we write our name and while writing our name we either write it in a capital case or we write our first alphabet of our name in a capital case and rest of the characters in small case and generally there are no spaces in our name there are only alphabets hmm, in our first name okay there are no spaces no special symbols hmm. so if i consider like this so according to this what will be our regular expression let me delete this now my letter should start my my name should starts with capital letter so i'll specify or any capital letter between a to z so i'll specify the character class which should have a range from capital a to capital z now this capital letter should appear exactly once okay so i will not mention of any quantifier here hmm? or if you want to mention you can specify one hmm? but it is actually not necessary if i do not specify anything what it means it will take at least one character after that it should be followed by any number of it should be followed by any number of small letters so small a to z sorry small a to z characters can appear one or more time at least according to my knowledge everybody's name at least has two characters okay so here i use quantifier plus here i use character quantifier plus plus means what small a to z characters can appear one or more times now let us write one name here say Sachin so it is matching with this if I say Rahul it is not matching with this say Saurav it is matching with this right if I say Dhoni it is matching with this actually it is not a first name so I just took an example of this if I write any name in capital then also there is no matching because here my entire name is in capital case and what our regular expression says first letter should be capital okay and then after rest of the letters here I specify plus sign so rest of the letters can be one or more and it should be in a small case i hope you got this now let us see the next example see what is the next example so regular expression to find full name which has first name middle name and surname okay so we have to write one regular expression that will match with the name and that name should have a first name middle name and surname okay now again one more condition is there the first alphabet of all the names all the names means what first name middle name and surname first alphabet of all the three names should be in a uppercase means exactly like this whatever we saw in previous example exactly like this but this pattern should appear how many times 
three times. This pattern should appear how many times? Three times. So what will I do? I want this X, entire pattern to be re repeated how many times? Entire pattern to be repeated three times. So here I group it. Okay. Actually one more thing I need. After one name is complete, means if first name is complete, there should be a space. So I am pressing a space symbol here and I am grouping this entire expression hmm, with the help of with the concept of grouping in grouping we have to uh, place our regular expression inside the parenthesis hmm. and i want to repeat this pattern how many times exactly three times so this will be quite easy for me hmm. so let us see i am writing the name of searching searching ramesh okay hmm. but what is the problem here what is the problem here I have to place a space also after Tendulkar also I have to press a space if I do not press a space hmm, then there will be no match hmm. so if you do not want this want it like this in that case you have to specify the individual pattern separately Okay, so it will be something like this. Uh, I will just remove the, sorry. I will remove this three. I will remove the grouping part. And I will write the same pattern again. But after plus sign there will be a space. Okay, then see now also it is showing a match. But it is showing three different words, three matches. What we want? We want one single match. Okay. This should be considered as a single text. So, capital A to Z. Then, small a to Z. This should be appear one or more times. Then, there will be space again. Capital A to Z. Then, small a to Z. Then, plus sign. Okay. Now it is matching with this. Now if I do not paste, press a space, then also it is matching. Uh, let me write one more name. Say Arvin Kumar. Okay. Now it is not matching. Why? Because there are only two words. Hmm? There should be one more word. Say XXX. Hmm? So his surname is XXX. Hmm? But again it is not matching because first letter is what? Not capital. Once I make it capital, it will match with this. Okay. I hope you got my point. Hmm? What we did? First letter is should be capital. We want only single letter. That's why we didn't specify the quantifier. Then A to Z. Then we want any number of characters. That's why we put a plus sign. So your name should have, your name is at least having a two characters. That's why I use, that's why I use plus. Hmm? I do not use star here. Hmm? Then again I repeated the same pattern. But here I mentioned the space. Okay. Here I mentioned the space. You, you can see it in the form of small dot, gray color dot. But it is actually a space. Okay. Now let us see the next question. What is the next question? It is again quite easy. I hope you guess it. The example of branch code which has, which has following format. Means there are exactly three digits followed by dash and then after followed by five digit number. Okay. So let us write it. So let me clear this first. So I want exactly three digits from zero to nine. So three digits which is followed by a dash okay now if I write a dash outside the character classes means outside the square bracket then it is not a meta character it is a plain literal character so you need not to escape it then again a next character class which is again digit and there should be exactly five digits so let me write an expression that will match with this 110 dash. So it is matching with this. Now if I write an expression 
okay it is skipping this digit okay hmm? and if i put one more digit here see look at this part which part is it is highlighting hmm? so this is another example hmm? now let us see the next one so we are writing a regular expression now for domain name now any domain name starts with www dot there are some characters after dot there are some characters then again there is a dot and after that there are again some char character then ca that character can be uh, com in co org adu live etc etc it can be anything okay so domain name looks something like this www dot say facebook dot com means this pattern is fixed www is fixed www dot is fixed so it will appear as a literal characters after dot there are some characters okay and that characters are what that characters are alphabet actually your domain name can contain a number also it do not contain a special symbol remember this thing so after dot there can be a number or can be a alphabets and that alphabets can be one or more again there is a dot and after dot there can be a alphabets only com to in live org net etc so let us write it so www is fixed part even dot is fixed part the but the meaning of dot is what it takes any single character so we have to escape it so see still it is showing a match but it is showing a match because if you look at here in a below part they are showing a help okay and as you can see here so let me see if i just press a dot and if you look at here dot matches any character except line break and once i put a slash before the dot what it means so let me reduce it hmm. now you can see matches a dot character once i put a dot slash what it does matches a dot character and once i remove it dot matches with any single character so since i put a dot dot is again any single character that's why it is matching but while writing a regular expression we are matching with we are matching with a fixed character that's why i am putting a slash here then after this dot there can be alphabets or can be a number so i'll say small a to z can be a capital letter also can have a digit also and that letters can appear one or more times that's why plus sign again there is a dot which is a fixed symbol so i have to use escape first slash dot and after that there can be alphabets only so a to z which can appear one or more times i think at least there are two characters and at the most there are there can be any number of characters okay the smallest one is in according to my knowledge but now as you practice it you will get a more idea of this okay so this is a regular expression for what this is a regular expression for a domain name hmm? now let us see the next example so what is the next example regular expression for url the uh, difference between url and uh, regular expression is that there is http protocol mention over here so this is my url http s colon double slash okay. now if i want to write a expression for this hmm, sometimes it can be http and sometimes it can be https so s may appear or may not appear so https colon and double slash part is fixed and it will appear before www so it will appear as a 
literal characters so http s may appear or may not appear so that's why i put a question mark here okay what is the meaning of question mark the previous pattern or the whatever character previous character can appear zero or one time so now if i say http colon double slash google dot in so i forgot www never match okay it matches with this one also http and http s also now let us see the next example so the next example is for email id which is quite complicated okay now how your email ids are so let me write one example first my email id is something like this my email at the rate gmail.com my dot email at the rate gmail.com so my email say 22 at the rate gmail.com so these are few examples of this hmm? so at the rate is a fixed character and which is not a meta character so it will appear as it is before at the rate there can be alphabets there can be a dot and there can be a numbers other than dot characters are not allowed in case of gmail in yahoo underscore is allowed so this format may get changed little bit okay so with the help of alternative you can specify the multiple uh, email format also hmm? so in this case if we write a regular expression so here i have to specify a set of character that can be alphabet that can be a dot sign dot sign or period sign or it can be a number so let us write it small a to z it can be in capital case also this also work then it can have a numbers then it can have a dot okay and this part can appear at least once or more can appear at least once or more which is followed by at the rate sign after at the rate sign there are only alphabets there are only alphabets now these alphabets can be what one or more these alphabets can be one or more then there is dot which is fixed character so i have to escape it so for slash and then dot and again after that there can be any character which which are again one or more so here i say plus sign now sometimes some email ids are something like this my email at the rate yahoo dot co dot in okay now it is not matching with this it is matching only this part after this part it is not matching now suppose i want to write an expression for this also so in some email ids this dot may appear may not appear after dot part these characters may appear may not appear so this dot is optional right appear or may not appear in that case this dot is fixed that's why i will escape it i'll put a question mark here it may appear or not appear see once when i am not entering question mark here it is matching with this only once i entered question mark it match with all the email ids hmm? now after that again there are alphabets hmm? in small case and that alphabets may appear or may not appear if appear they are one or more so i'll put a asterisk sign here so what is the meaning of asterisk the pattern can appear zero or more times okay i hope you all of you got these examples if you have any doubts you can put it in a comment section i'll definitely try to solve it and if you like this video tutorial please subscribe and share it with your friends and definitely you can build a better expression for email than me okay of, of, uh, definitely there is a scope for improvement but try it yourself i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial thank you